Hi, today we're going to talk about claim, evidence, and reasoning, which is a model that we can use to uh, communicate scientific information. Like, say we do a lab in class, we might write, write a paragraph that includes the claim, like the results or the conclusions, evidence, how do you know, and reasoning, a statement that ties those two together. So let's look at how we could use this in this um, little experiment. So they had this crow, they put a treat in with water, and they gave him some objects. Well, we can make several claims. You might claim, well, that crow is intelligent. Or maybe a better claim would be a crow can use a tool to complete a task. There's our claim, crows use tools. Evidence is the observation of the crow using the tool to get his treat. Claims are statements. Uh, you can make statements about any number of things, but good scientists back a statement up with some kind of evidence. In fact, any good argument or if you're on a debate team, or even if you're just sitting around the kitchen table arguing with your parents about something, if you make a statement, you know, if you have evidence to back up that statement, you're more, more uh, likely to get what you want or to get agreement. For instance, uh, how would you get evidence to support this statement? You might look at uh, cancer deaths and correlate them to whether that person smokes cigarettes or not. Wearing a mask preventing the spread of the disease. Maybe you look at countries that have really strong mask compliance rates and show that the disease did not spread as quickly. Um, tadpoles develop into frogs. You might just look at um, a video showing a tadpole developing into a frog. Those are all evidence. Reasoning is where you tie what your evidence is to your claim, which seems pretty obvious, but it isn't. You know, like sometimes people make a claim and then they provide evidence. You're like, well, this, these two things don't really match. The other thing reasoning can um, look at is prior knowledge and scientific principles. So let's look at how we would put that into this context. Wearing a mask can prevent the spread of the disease. Evidence, droplets from your breath do not enter the air spread as far. And this is Bill Nye showing us evidence. He's wearing a mask, he's trying to blow out the candle and he can't because his breath won't spread as far. But now we're like, well, why does that actually matter? Because you know, if you're talking about, you know, some diseases aren't spread through the air. So here is where you would have to tie, why does this matter for your claim? You might also tie into uh, the germ theory saying that microorganisms you know, live in the air and on the body and in your respiratory droplets. And if you can prevent the spread of those droplets, then you can prevent the spread of the disease. You'll have an assignment where you're going to have to identify like some statements that are claims, statements that are evidence, and then perform some reasoning tasks.